Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to perform with your Akai MPK Mini by MIDI mapping some instruments and audio effects to your pads and knobs. You could also do this with any other keyboards with knobs and pads. To start, as you can see, I've just kept this particular set very simple and straightforward. I only have two tracks that I'm working with, one drum rack, um, which I've put some samples in, so I'll show you that really quick. So as you can see, I've just added some sample chops on there. And so by dropping those sample chops on the drum rack, you don't need to MIDI map anything to that. They're just gonna automatically play when you play the pads. And if that's still confusing to you guys, you can revert to my drum pad tutorial. I used drum samples in that video, but you can definitely apply it to sample chops as well also have my drums here again i'm keeping it really simple for now and then later on you can get more complex with it all right so the first thing you want to do is create an audio effect rack and we're going to go ahead and just click on the master and then we're going to go over here to audio effects click on the audio effect rack and we're going to keep this very simple we're just going to grab the auto filter and then we're going to grab the beat repeat and then lastly, we're going to grab the delay. And then I'm going to go to the beat repeat and just put the interval to 1 over 4 and the grid to 1 over 32. And the delay I'm going to set to 4 on left and right. And I'm also going to just make sure that repitch is selected. Again, you can eventually get more complex with your effects, but for now we're just going to make it as easy as possible for kind of just anyone to understand. So the next step is to go to MIDI and start MIDI mapping our effects to the knob. So I'm going to click frequency here and then I'm going to turn this knob and then I'm going to go to the on and off on beat repeat and I'm going to turn the second knob and then I'm going to go to delay and turn the third knob and as you can see all of that is MIDI mapped. We're also going to MIDI map the on and off button for the drums and this is for when I end my performance without the drums. Okay so once you have all of your audio effects MIDI mapped to the knobs you can now kind of just test it out so if I move this knob it's going to move the frequency and if I move the second knob it turns on off the beat repeat and then of course the third knob on and off for the delay and the fourth on and off for the drums. All right, so to start the performance, I'm gonna go ahead and have this drum loop playing on the background. So I'm gonna play that clip and then please ignore this clip. You're not gonna be playing it. What you really wanna do is make sure that you have it armed so that you can play the pads while also triggering the audio effects. Okay, so now I'm gonna play the beginning video again and this time the audio effects are gonna show up when I trigger them with the knobs. And just a heads up, if you go down to the lower corner, you can click this and it'll actually save that audio effect rack for you. And you can name it whatever you want. And it's just a really easy way to have this without having to build it every single time. All right, so that concludes today's video, you guys. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section and I will get to it as soon as possible. And also don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys on the next one.